We are back. Check it out. We're all decked out in our college alma maters uh, on the University of Today <laughs> campus. One of the biggest party schools in the nation, yeah. University of Today. The Princeton Review's ranking of the best 385 colleges is out. And here to break down some of the top lists and whip up some school spirit, editor-in-chief Robert Fanick. Hi, it's nice to see I'm you. Good Robert. to see you, Hal. Nice to be back. We yeah. got a bunch of different categories. I want to get to the list. A couple quick things, though. The college admissions scandal yeah. certainly opened a lot of eyes. Have, have colleges made changes in the mm. admissions process? They have in, in two ways. And the scandal itself, despicable as it is, there's going to be some good changes. Much more visibility in the admission process and then much more security on the testing side of the fence. Okay, yeah. let's talk about the four-year college. I mean, the costs just keep rising yeah. and rising. I know we're going to yeah. talk about the best, the best values, but is a four-year college degree still a good investment? I mean, not surprisingly, we at the Prince Review think it's a good, a good investment yeah. for a couple of reasons. One, a student is going to earn a million dollars more over their lifetime and career, if, opposed to if they didn't have a, a college degree, they'll be more nimble. They have lower rates of unemployment. Even Robert Wood Johnson said they're going to live longer because they're likely going to have better insurance. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Should we get to the rankings? Let's get to the rankings. Okay. All right. So we're starting off with the best financial aid. Yeah. All right. So oh, you guys have the broker. I got this guy right here. You got I'm going to stick it up. You got course. it. Okay, so tell us so we have the Bowdoin, number one. Bowdoin, Bowdoin College. Yeah. yeah, a little school, 1,900 students in Brunswick, Maine. Its sticker costs $68,500, but it's gifted. Free money you don't have to pay back, $48,800, bringing that down to about $19,000. Mm. Okay, yeah. Vanderbilt's two, Wash U is three, Princeton, and Yale. Okay. Absolutely. Fabulous. Look, look our next schools. category. Yeah. Get Here we go. Best career services. Best career services. And this is such a big list for us at the Princeton Review. Number one on the list this year is Clemson huh. University. Clemson is 19,000 students, 83% of whom are going to access the Career Resource Center. Wow. 73% will take one internship. 43% will take two or more. By the way, you do these listings. is based on student reviews? It is all based on 143,000 student reviews. Oh, for this, for this okay. Book. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll yeah. Start with the five that it's round stuff. out. Yeah. This is a good one. I like, like this. If you like where you live, best Oh, yeah, doing. yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, and this is such a big list for us for, at Princeton Review, for students and for parents. Wash U, not surprisingly, it's been on this list before. What's up with their dorms? What do they have? Well, for, for freshmen and sophomores, they live on an entirely separate section of campus called the South 40, 10 different residence halls. There's a food service. There's technology mm -hmm. center, meeting rooms. It's pretty awesome. Well, that's nice. Beautiful. Wow. What are yeah. the other ones that are ranking up there? Yeah, I mean, Frank W. Olin, which is a little college, an engineering school in Boston, TCU, of course, in Texas, Emory outside of Atlanta, and then big one to watch here, we have an eye on this at Princeton Review, is High Point University of North Carolina. The big school, I mean, now it had such a great regional rating, and now I feel like it's moving on to this national national scale. So good stuff. Okay, okay. best professors. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, this one, 10 miles from where we're standing right now, Sarah Lawrence College, uh, little school, 1,400 students, but 95% of the classes at Sarah Lawrence are going to be 20 students and under. There's a 9 to 1 student to faculty oh, ratio. Wow. A student said it best on her Princeton Review survey when she said, our faculty treat us as colleagues. Wow. Yeah, okay. Like, okay. And then some Reed of these others, where's Reed College? Oh, Reed College is in Oregon, and mm -hmm. Frank W. Olin again, and, and Boston, Mount Holyoke, of course, Massachusetts, sure. and Little St. John's College. Now, this is has two campuses, one in New Mexico and one in Maryland. This is the Maryland campus. Okay. Sure. This is yeah. the one we've been okay. waiting for. Yeah, yeah, this is the yeah, one every yeah, parent yeah. really I cannot believe my school is not on this list this year. <laughs> I'm shocked. Right, right. It was well, on other lists, though. But, but okay. Syracuse University was the number one spot in 2014, back to the number one spot. In they must be so proud. <laughs> oh, so proud, of course, of course. But Syracuse University, 15,000 students. That's Syracuse is an awesome school, 200 majors, 100 minors, but a very active social scene right. on, yeah. on campus. University well. of Delaware, WVU, and Tulane in New Orleans. Oh, yeah. yeah. What a Tulane shock. Yeah. Yeah. In New Orleans. Been on there before, absolutely. They like this one. Oh, happiest, happiest students. Oh. I love this. And again, uh, you know, as you guys were saying, I mean, we go directly to students. Auburn University, I mean, these are 23,000 of the happiest students. How we do you gauge that? Happy. Well, students are asking, we're asking students about quality of life, their overall happiness oh. on campus. Beautiful campus, yeah. incredible yeah, yeah, school yeah. spirit, great sports teams, the Tigers as well. So pretty, pretty awesome. Vanderbilt, Kansas yeah, State, yeah. Tulane, and the University of Oklahoma. And of course, yeah. Finally, alma maters. Oh, I love this oh, one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We have dozens more regulars, but we wanted to put these up there. Tech of course. got best campus food? I mean, it has been on that list before. It is fabulous. Wow. wow. Fabulous food. And of course, the University of Arizona, best, best Congratulations uh, best on best services. Yeah, yeah, among many others. And of course, Sunny Oswego has long been a green college as well wrapping it into their curriculum as well. That's yeah. fun. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate it, Robert. Again, the Princeton Review's best 385 colleges is available right now if you want to check it out.